Good morning, good morning. I wanted to say how are you doing today, guys. I wanted to talk about a comment that I saw in one of my more recent videos. And I thought it was a very interesting comment to sort of have a conversation on. Uh, it's from this guy, Black Jaguar. How you doing, buddy? And he wanted to know that if I had any advice on discipline. He's, going, he's, he's a high school student going into mechanical engineering and he wanted some tips just getting into good colleges finding good jobs and what steps you took and motivation for school he feels like he lost it recently and wants to know how to get it back and for that i i really have to start off by saying that it's not easy you know motivation ain't easy i kind of look at it like motivation's that starting primer that you start doing things because of motivation. Maybe you want to get fit to, you know, be more attractive for girls. And so you're motivated to start hitting the gym. But then after maybe a week or so, you start to sort of feel the, the strain or the tediousness of actually performing the task. And you start to lose the interest. And let me also say that even applies to what I'm doing right now. I was highly motivated to make this series now. However... I sit here and I'm becoming less motivated to make it. It becomes just a little bit more of a chore to go and make one of these videos. And it only takes me about 20 minutes from start to finish to make one of these. It's very, very quick. However, the reason why I keep doing this, and this is the advice I'd give to you, Black Jaguar, anyone else that is kind of struggling with discipline, eh, is... The ability to push through and see a concrete goal that you want to work towards and make it happen. It's, it's not an easy answer, but the way I look at it is the things that are worth doing in life are the things that are hard. You know, you want to become an engineer, a desirable trait. You want to become a YouTuber. You want to get really fit. Maybe you want to start eating healthier. All of these things that provide, in my opinion, real benefits are stuff that require work. And maybe the reason why they're desirable is because there's something to be said about the value of the work that you put in, that the difficulty it is to actually achieve these tasks. And the same thing could be even said about a YouTube video. It's one thing to upload a YouTube video, and that's an accomplished in and of itself. But imagine how it feels to get a million views on a YouTube video, or to get the, an A on your school paper that you've been working so hard for. That A feels so much more rewarding because of the struggles you put in, of the hours and the late nights studying, and all of that time putting effort into something to achieve your goal. So the advice I want to give you, Black Jaguar, is that find, finding motivation, because that's one of the things he was asking, is to, to find motivation, I don't think you should necessarily be looking for it. I think motivation is a beautiful part of the start of a process when you have a goal. However, it's not going to be there for the entire time. And so when you find your motivation waning, I think you should embrace the fact that Okay, we're losing motivation, but it's the discipline. It's the the vision for this end goal that you want. You want to be an engineer by the end of your time in college. You got to make that happen. You're disciplined to see it through. You have this clear set goal of you withholding that engineering degree, just manifesting what that means to you. And to put it in perspective for what I had... When I started doing YouTube, people were like, are you going to really make a career off of that? Are you actually going to be able to make money? There's no way you can make it happen. Like, what if it doesn't happen? What if this? What if that? What if you fail? What if you uh, don't earn enough? What if people hate you? What if you get canceled? All of these negative what if thoughts. And I, no matter where I was in my motivation stage, whether I was feeling highly motivated in that moment or not, I had a clear and crystal vision that I would be sitting there with a verified YouTube account doing it as my full-time job and making enough money. And I always told them it was never, ever a matter of if, but a matter of when I would become successful on YouTube. I had this burning passion 
to see it fit. And I would not let anyone try and tell me otherwise. And I think in your case, Black Jaguar, if you are listening to this, I really recommend setting yourself that aggressive, concrete, crystal clear vision. What is the end goal that you're trying to perceive? And attack that. And just know that it's okay that the that the motivation may wane. That's fine. Embrace it. But just know that every time that it feels like it's getting hard and the moment you feel like you're just really embracing the suck of just like whatever struggles you're going through, maybe there's a certain topic that's very difficult. And I know I had plenty of those when I was in engineering school. I, I always thought back to the moment where every moment I'm working hard is just another point of how sweet it's going to feel once I actually achieve it. And it did. It felt very sweet. I even felt a kind of like it wasn't even real because I was like, no way this actually happened. I, I kind of had to pinch myself a few times. It, it, it wasn't even like I was just kind of mute. Actually, I remember when I got my degree, I was like, what? <laughs> That's it? Like, I did it? I, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was like, oh, it's it's actually here. Because, uh, and when I was sitting there, actually holding my degree, envisioning, or thinking back to the envisioned view I had on my life and saying, oh, I actually made my vision come true. I sat there in kind of a bit of disbelief, and I think you should embrace that. I really think you should. And there really is something beautiful to be said about achieving a goal, especially one that's hard. I kind of live by the mantra of shoot for the moon or shoot for the stars and you'll reach the moon because the moon is still really impressive. But I always set my sights what I think is just beyond my reach because the the things in life that push me outside of my comfort zone I feel like are the ones that define who I am and also make me a better person. It's kind of like lifting weights. If you're not pushing yourself or in exercise, your muscles aren't going to grow because the muscles grow. And I'm going to keep this very basic. I just for the sake of this conversation, but muscles do not grow unless they are put under stress. And the only way to put them under stress is by pushing them outside of their comfort zone. And the only way to push yourself outside of your comfort zone is to maybe run a little faster, lift a little heavier, do a, like stretch a little longer, any of these things. And the muscles will adapt to this new stimulus. And so with your brain, you're going into engineering degree. You're sitting there. You're confused at maybe this new type of calculus or this new science topic you've never tackled before. And you're sitting there struggling. You're like, this is hard. Maybe I should stop. No, you should keep going. Keep on pushing because it's those moments where you're sitting there at your limits that you're clearly defining who you are to be as a person in the future and defining the type of person you will be. It's... It's a beautiful process, and you should embrace those moments when it gets a little tough. Because you're only expanding your horizons and your capabilities as a person. So Black Jaguar, and to anyone else that's watching, please, embrace the struggle, embrace it wholeheartedly, and make it happen. Make that vision come true. Get that clear, defined vision. Figure out what it is you want in life, and make it happen. And if people try and doubt you, don't say, I don't know if I'll make it. And it's not a matter. Just, uh, just don't say if I, just don't say it's a matter of if I'll make it. It's a matter of when I'll make it. I got a little, I was feeling, I was feeling like I was cooking a little bit and then I started stumbling on my words. It was, a, it was a whole thing. But guys, seriously, you all got this. I'm so proud of you. I'm in your corner. I'll see you in the next one.